Jesus is on trial before Pontius Pilate. There's charges of sedition that he is trying to overthrow Rome or be a king and overthrow the, you know, Jewish leadership. Uh, and these are very serious charges, right? To uh, try to usurp authority or set up a kingship would be a challenge to not only Jewish leaders, but the Roman leaders. And this could definitely get you killed. But Pilate understands from Jesus' answer that he is no threat, that his kingdom is not of this world, his kingdom is from another place, his kingdom is about truth, that his servants do not fight with weapons. So he understands whatever Jesus means by this kingship, he is no political threat to Caesar or to the Jews. And then he tells the Jews, uh, can I give Jesus back to you, basically? Can I just release him uh, back because he isn't, I find no fault with him. And they say, no, give us Barabbas. So think of that. They have the ability to have Jesus set before them, released, uh, free of charges, and instead they choose a murderer. Now, it's not just bad enough that they had taken this guy that was uh, accused of murder or was a murderer in a rebellion that had broke out, um, but we all kind of choose Barabbas, if you will, right? We all kind of choose those things in our life, uh, death over life, right? We choose bad things over the good things. And there's no greater example of this than choosing Barabbas over Jesus to keep alive. We see this was for a purpose, but in our own lives, may we choose Christ.